Hi everyone and welcome back to this uh, series of videos looking at this build of a uh, 16mm Hudson Hunslow diesel uh, loco. Um, today we're looking at this little thing. Um, so this is the thing I quickly sketched up uh, to allow me to make the seat. So essentially um, this would be the kind of the... well this would be the side of the the, the bottom of the seat with this edge uh, running along where the footwell, towards the footwell uh, these two bits fold up make the seat. So what I did was I, I printed a couple of these and stuck one of them to some um, quarter millimeter thick brass sheet uh, and then just used some scissors to cut that out um, scored the fold lines uh, with a knife and then used the hold and fold um, just to make sure that they, they folded really really nice and sharp um, and what I got or what I've made with those parts is this um, so um, it's not quite as I intended, but um, hopefully you'll see you'll see why in a second. So you can see the the seat. So here's the bottom of the seat, two sides folded up. Uh, you can probably see in the corner I run I ran a little bit of um, solder up the inside seam. Um, so this is nice and solid, and then kind of polished that back. Um, I've used a bit of uh, das modeling clay to. Um, to make the kind of rest for the back of the seat and a cushion. Um, my dust clay is a bit old, um, it's not at its best and it's cracking a bit as it dries but actually I don't mind that because on a lot of the the real um, locos that I've seen the seat pad is kind of covered in maybe leather or fake leather, I don't know, but they're often cracked with like the stuffing showing and things so I think the cracks are not a problem uh, and what I've tried to do is kind of squash it down on this side so that it looks like the, the kind of person's bottom has been on this bit and not right up against the corners. Um, I've not put a pad on this side um, because otherwise I don't think there'll be enough space for the driver to fit on um, and actually fit to the loco. You'll notice also that I've put this tiny little sliver of plastic strip on the bottom. Um, if you remember I'd actually made up some um, brackets for mounting the seat which when you put them together with a bit of brass tube kind of gives you this um, but this I mean if you see if I take it apart it's got the kind of the pins in the tube but this is basically about as short as you can make this um, and that's actually quite big um, and looking at the drawings and the prototype the seat is nowhere near that far off the floor um, and in fact when I tried it on a on a test model it it, it just wasn't going to work with that on and the pad, seat pad and, and things raised up the driver's feet were nowhere near the footwell and um, were bashing about on the on the metalwork so um, I've, I've kind of thrown that away for now um, as I say it's just a tiny little pin what I might do um, is print a slightly bigger piece maybe I don't know a square or something that will be a bit better um, kind of you know bigger area to glue onto the model so it doesn't get knocked off but for now that tiny little bit of plastic is, is doing its job um, so here we have the the figure that we've seen before um, he fits just about in the seat as I say he's not a he, he, based on where his arm is um, he doesn't fit very well I did try and kind of gouge, gouge out underneath his arm a bit um, to kind of get a bit where the seat would fit in and I did manage to get the seat kind of to fit in but that then twists him round a little and it's not so um, not such a good good fit um, but you can see if I take so this is the the cracked chassis and the back head the back control area that I messed up um, so if we put the seat on here and the drawings it basically goes right up against the, the corner um, so we do that he'll slot in here and he'll slot in and he can sit um, like that if I can hold him like that um, so he's kind of looking down the the side of the local which is basically how I had him on the 4mm how I had the driver figure on the 4mm version I'd like him a bit more laid back so he's not looking like he's got his mouth up against the, the bodywork um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see um, as I say I'll need to actually glue it in place I think before I know for, for certain exactly how well that's going to go um, it may be that I need to kind of glue him into his seat because what I don't want is him kind of looking like he's perched right on the very front uh, but I think that kind of that kind of works um, so that's that's okay as I say it will depend exactly where the body work fits on the real the real model um, you can see there's not exactly much space between his arm and, and the canopy uh, that's because this one is obviously this as I said there's two versions of this metal part one that kind of cuts across here and then down 
uh, which is for the, the cabbed version. Obviously that would give a lot more clearance, but I've gone for the cabless version, which obviously means that there's, there's very little space here. But anyway, I think that's um, that's where it's the seat was, as I say, the seat was easy to make up, just a piece of brass and some scissors, um, essentially made that made that up. Um, so yeah, so that, that was a success. Um, I've done a little bit more painting, as I say, I'm using this, this as the temporary piece because I don't want to play around with the painted version too much. Um, I will quickly try and show you what I've got without hopefully getting my fingers in slightly sticky um, paint. So this looks a lot redder um, on the camera than it actually is. It's a much more crimson colour, um, but it's worked out quite nicely. I've got the, the nameplate on the front. Um, ivory on the inside um, I didn't wait long enough clearly for the masking before I masked it up and I've pulled some of the paint so that will need touching up I also need to touch up the very edge of this metal sheet it's difficult to know whether it should be red or cream I seem to have ended up with about half and half um, so I will touch that up possibly with some red paint possibly I think it's probably better so that it doesn't leak you can't see red on the outside um, but that looks looking really nice it's the the colour is is slightly odd. It's um, as I say, it's this car paint. It's almost kind of got like a, um, a shimmer to it, um, as well as being gloss. It's almost kind of got it's, it's really difficult to sell on the screen. You can't really can't really see, um, but it's kind of got a shimmer, uh, an almost like pearl like effect, um, which has gone down a lot as the paint's dried. It was really obvious when it was wet. Um, We'll have to see what that works, how that works out when I um, when I varnish it. Um, it'll be um, either a satin varnish or a, or a complete matte dull coat um, is what I usually use before weathering. Um, so we'll have to see how that comes out. Uh, but for now, I think that's uh, I think that's worked pretty well. Um, I've kept this nice and black, so it's black behind the grill. Um, obviously, I need to now do the side panels. Um, I fitted the magnets in the top. Um, I think what I'll do is I, I did I did check and the the side panel I had from the test fits but it doesn't actually quite match up at the bottom properly and when I've got this fully shoved home into the into the base so I think what I'll do is I'll do a new set I've got the parts uh, do a new set that's kind of custom made to size but also custom then filed to to fit the model uh, but I think hopefully everybody can agree that that's coming on coming on really nicely um, I just have to kind of tidy up the the painting painting not my strong point but I, I want to finally see one of these um, painted and built even if I then basically throw it away and, and build a new one I want to get one all the way there um, so yeah I'm gonna wait for this to to fully dry um, you can tell I actually got too much paint on I'm late I'm I, I rushed I've got a, a little I've got a little run um, but again I think I'm just gonna treat this as a as a disposable one I can remake all these parts you know within a day easily printing them all and remaking the, the metal work so um, I'm going to finish building this which means the next thing is probably um, I need to paint the buffer beams red um, so I can mask that up and paint that before I fit the motor wire it up and then I can glue the the body in place um, and start doing the the rest of the details so that's that's probably what will come next but obviously if you want to see what comes next make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the the next installment.